and welcome to yet another episode of Art Zone. You're with me, Danushka Degama, and today we're going to learn something called glass painting, which I'm sure everybody knows what exactly is glass painting. But it's very innovative to see that when we have someone to show us how glass painting is done, it becomes very, very easier for us to copy the same. So with me, I have today Minoshka Pinto, who had previously taught us to make flower garlands. So Minoshka, thanks again for coming on our show, and this time you are going to teach us to make glass painting. So without wasting any time, I think we should start with our glass painting because I'm sure all our viewers are ready, are all set to start glass painting. Yes. So what all do we need for the glass painting? First of all, we need uh, glass. Glasses can be in uh, various sizes. It can uh, it can be in square sizes or. Uh, rectangle sizes or even small squares so besides this you can make a gla a glass painting even on glasses and uh, on the windows etc okay so you mean to say the window panes which we normally have at home yes we can do glass painting on yes, that yes definitely you can do it on that and uh, for this glass painting that we are going to do do we need a particular thickness of glass or it can be any kind it can be any kind of glass not necessarily be a particular thickness of glass and glass painting, I'm sorry to ask you so many All questions, right. but I'm so curious to know about this, how exactly to do glass painting. Do we only do it on this transparent kind of glasses because now we have the tinted kind of glasses, the yes. brown shade of glasses. So it's done only on this kind of glasses, the transparent one? Or? If it's done on a transparent glass, all the colors are, are visible easily. But if you do it on a tinted glass, then you see you can't see the colors that well. So we, so we prefer using uh, transparent glass. So it's better to do it on yes. the transparent glasses. Okay, so the first thing and the most important thing we need is glass for glass painting. And what else? The, then we need is uh, the glass colors. That is, uh, you can use uh, Fevicryl or uh, Camlin or even the RT company colors. We need glass liners. Uh, you, there, are, there are many kinds of colors which come in the glass liner. liners. I would only be no, given to know about eyeliner. Now, what are glass liners? Glass liners are like you know how you use eyeliners uh, to decorate your eyes. That's you use a glass liner to decorate the glass. Okay. You get various colors of glass liners. You see, but this is the black color which we are going to use. So mostly, I think black is commonly used for glass painting. Or? Yes, it's, it's been used because you can outline with black more better as compared to the other colors because or individually if you want a particular part to look more beautiful then you can use the other liners as well and some people have also told me that uh, like I'm very bad in drawing and painting I'm just too bad in freehand but glass painting it seems is very easy because you got to keep a, a picture of a whatever kind of thing you yes. want to draw underneath so you like just have to trace it on top of that so I think this makes work very easy for all those who want to do art like me and do not have the knack of painting and drawing. So I think let's start. Yes, let's start. So you can see here I have a tracing paper and I've drawn this uh, flower pot design. So this, uh, so this is the design we are going to use for our glass painting. It's a basket of flowers. So Minoshka, let's start. Yes, let's start. Since this design is quite broad, so we'll keep it like this. What is this exactly you're doing? Because this is a marker and not a liner. I'm tracing this design on the glass with the help of a marker. So where did you learn to do glass painting? I learned to glass painting in Balpavan. They used to conduct workshops or something? Yes, they used to have the summer camps where they used to conduct various workshops. So 
So you do this in your past time? Yes. And how many windows in your house are done with glass paper? Well, I'm not done in anything as such. And how long does it take to do this? So after this, how do you frame it? Do you have to take it to a shop where they frame it or you just have to hang it like that? You need to, if you want to frame it and put it on your wall, then you can take it to the shop where they'll put another additional glass to, to support it from behind. And then you can probably frame it. So when you go to buy the glass, do you tell the people what size of glass you want or? Yes, you need to tell them. Depending on the design. Yes, uh, uh, the design which you would prefer, like whether you would like it on a square glass or you would prefer uh, using a rectangular glass as I've just shown before. Okay, okay. That is uh, to trace the design. After that, you uh, you can put the line on the on the glass. It's not that you put the line directly. Uh, well, if you can really do it well, then you can directly use the liner. So these are like for beginners who yes. first start that you first do it with the marker and then the and then line. you trace it with the liner. <coughs> so here, as you can see, we have traced the design which was on the tracing paper onto the glass using the help of this permanent black marker. So now which is the going to be the correct side and which is going to be the wrong side? Like I say, atte and potte. As uh, after this uh, marker has uh, already dried, then we are going to turn it this way. And so we are going uh, to use a liner on this yes. side? Yes. And we are going to use a liner on this side. Okay, so the marker what we used was on this side and now we are going to use the liner on this side and continue with our glass painting. So, shall we allow it to dry for some time? Yeah. So, we leave this to dry for a few seconds before we start putting the liner. Since 
this has already dried up now we'll turn it that side so the painting was done on the marker was used on this side the underneath side so we have turned it now now we begin using this liner so yeah the hand has to be very steady it can't shake and tremble no if you shake your hand and you put the liner then it's going to come crooked and how does it have to be does it have to be very thick or thin or how does it have to be it has to be quite thin if it's very thick then it won't look nice so thinner the better yes and is there a chance where like if you do something and it comes out and you can rub it off or something like that when it's when you applying the liner that's the time you can rub it off but then after drying you can't really remove it out You would like to put the liner then you can start with another one So now I'm also just going to try with the liner and see if I can manage to keep my hands steady I do. 